Good morning, everyone. This morning, we're going to be doing a morning routine. It is about seven in the morning, so it's a little bit dim out. The day's just getting started. Sun is coming up, and I just got out of the shower, and I'm having a little coffee. So I get asked pretty often to do morning routines. So that's what we're going to do during this Vlogtober. Today, we're going to do a morning routine. So I'm going to walk you through what I do every morning, realistic as always. And I'm going to bring you up to speed with what has been going on this morning. And unfortunately, it's been a bit of a frustrating morning for me, but sometimes we have these. All right, so, so the first thing I do when I get up in the morning is I try to get my day centered correctly. That is so important to me. If I start the day allowing my thoughts in my own head to dictate the day, it could go off the rails. It could very easily go off the rails. And today's a very good example of that. So the, when I get up in the morning, I make my bed, I get everything organized, get my room. I like to have my room nice and clean and organized. Kevin leaves for work early. So by the time I'm getting up, he's already gone. I, don't, I never see him in the morning. So I get the bed made, get myself ready, and I like to take a shower in the morning. So it's kind of weird. I will do showers in the morning and then usually in the evening, I will take a bubble bath for the purpose of relaxation. So what I like to do in the morning is have kind of a little bit of a cooler shower. Nothing like blazing hot because I don't feel good when I take a blazing hot shower. And I pulled a couple of the things out of my shower that I use often. So this is one of my favorite things. You can tell how much I've used. These um, Tree Hut products to me are fabulous. I really like the Sugar Scrub. This one is Tangerine. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. It's very, very you can see there's kind of like, if you've never used this before, you've got the sugar scrub and then a little bit of like an essential oil. I love it. It just kind of, as you scrub it on your skin, it exfoliates and then it just goes right into your skin. So I love the tangerine one. And then the body wash that I've been using lately that I was not sure if I would like because I don't like the taste or the smell of coconut. But this Coco Colada has a kind of a cherry note behind it, but it almost has like a jasmine. I don't know. It's a really pleasant smell. Endless summer anyone. That's what it says. Let us take your body on vacation while our ingredients work hard to moisturize with coconut and brighten with pineapple. Maybe that's what I smell as pineapple, but I really, really enjoy this. Now, before I get in the shower, obviously I brush my teeth. I use charcoal toothpaste. That works really well for me. Some of you have said that you think that's going to scrape the enamel off my teeth. No, it doesn't do that to me. It works perfectly fine for me. Maybe it will not work for you. I don't know, but it works really good for me. So these are the things I do to get myself set up before I get in the shower. Once a week, which was today, I will use a mask. So this is one that I picked up at Sephora. I'll link all of this, everything I'm talking about, I'll link it all in the description box. But this is by Kadali and this is called Mask Peeling Glycolic. So what I do is I'll put this on my face and I'll walk around and do all the things I have to do. Put my contacts on because I do get in the shower with my contacts on put my contacts on, brush my teeth, floss my teeth, do all of that while this is sitting on my skin for 10 minutes. Then when I get in the shower, I am ready to go. I do bring my coffee in the shower. I have a little shelf that I put my coffee on. I need that. I love to sip my coffee in the shower. It's just one of those things. And let me grab this. And to get my day started right, like to get to get myself on course, to not be all out of whack, 
I will listen to something that speaks to me. So on YouTube, there is a station called Grace for Purpose Prayer. And what I'll do is I'll just scroll and I'll find something that that speaks to me for the day. Like I just go to videos just like you guys do and then I find something that speaks to me. And usually I'll do something that's like 13 minutes or so, somewhere between like 11 and 15, because that's usually how long I'm in the shower. So I will listen to that while I'm in the shower. So I have shown you before my hair care products. I like to use the Tea Tree Paul Mitchell for colored hair. Love that. When I get out of the shower, I will use my serum. I've shown you this serum before. It's game changer for me. And I say that, see how my skin, it will light it up as soon as I put anything, any product on my skin, my skin will light up. And actually this is good because you can see, this is what I'm correcting here and here. So you will watch this tone down and I'll show you a finished makeup look when I'm, when this video is ending and you'll notice you won't even see this. This is really, really good. I was surprised about it. They sent this to me months ago and I'm still using it. It's called Dermalac Self-Esteem Beauty Serum. Self-Esteem Sleep. Okay, let me say it correctly. Self-Esteem Beauty Sleep Serum. So I use it in the evening and the morning and they do say you can do that. It works really, really well for me. So I'm gonna let that kind of hang out, moisturize my skin. And then the last thing I do before I start moving around is I get my hair sprayed with this Brazilian, what is this called? You've seen this on my channel for years. Brazilian Blowout Ionic Bonding Spray. It's almost gone, I need to reorder. I use it all the time, it's great for your hair. My daughter even said my hair is so much, she's a hairdresser, my hair is so much healthier since I've started using it. So I really like it because if you put any heat product on your hair, it's really good to kind of seal it before you do that. So what I wanted to tell you, and the reason that I like to get my mind centered every morning, right off the bat this morning, I start through emails. I go through my emails, answer emails. Sometimes I have things from YouTube. Sometimes I have business things this morning the ENT specialist that I saw, his office has things all kind of sideways. I can't, you know what, I'm not gonna spend the morning complaining about it, but let me just tell you that the devil was working hard this morning, and thank goodness I, I am dressed to impress. I am not having it. I am not letting the devil trip me this morning with the healthcare stuff, because that's my weak point. And when I feel like people are shuffling you around and not doing their job, meanwhile you don't feel well or you're having problems, it is a no-go for me. So I'm going to keep my mind right. And had I not done my little prayers this morning, it is possible that I could have reacted a little differently than I did. By the way, I wanted to show you I picked up some more ribbon. I got this at Hobby Lobby so that I can start my Christmas wreath. Have I shown this to you yet? I'm not sure. But that's the wreath that I did. I was going to put it outside and I just really liked it right there because it matches my little chipmunk village. So I thought it was perfect. So I'm going to make another one of those. And I just picked that up. So let's kind of get the day moving. Here's what I'm working on, by the way. Huge new um, picture. There we go. So this is what I'm working on. Obviously, this is giant. I'm going to do kind of like a little art show in January and February in an area called Old St. Charles. So you will probably see that, but definitely not during Vlogtober, because that won't be until January. But this is the large painting I'm working on, because I wanted to have one big piece. This is going to be stormy. I'm doing a thunderstorm series. 
So I don't know, I've just lately been enjoying painting that. So this is what I call the blocking in stage. It looks like an absolute mess, but I know where it's going. I know where I have to layer it. So my, my room here, where I film, where I work, where I do real estate, where I live my entire life, I could just live in here. Now I have paint all over my desk, so I gotta get myself together. All right, so blow dry is done. You can see how nice and smooth that Brazilian blowout makes your hair. I love that. The spray one especially. I don't know if you all noticed, but I got my hair highlighted. So now I'm just gonna run some curls through the ends just so it has a little bit of dimension. So I'm gonna let this heat up for a moment and drink a little more. Where's my coffee? I'm gonna go drink some coffee. All right, I'm back with my coffee. So let me show you. I'm gonna use my Verb Ghost Oil. You've also heard me talk about that so many times. You know, that's one thing about me is if I'm recommending a product to you, it is a product that I use and I use all the time and I use consistently. And from time to time, you know, of course I try new products just like all of you do as well. But I've got some main stay staples that I always use. And you'll see that on my channel that I use them over and over and over again. I'm not a one and done person. And if I am, I'm gonna tell you, like when I recommend a product, I might say this is the first time I'm using it or I've used this for a month or whatever it is because I want you to know if it's a tried and true for me, I'm gonna make a little bend in that one. If it's a tried and true for me or if it's something I'm trying out for the first time. And one thing I'm always careful about on my channel, like things you ingest, I don't know. On that one, I'm really, really careful because I, if you're like me, you're careful about what you put in your body, you know. I mean, I'm all for a good chemical here and there, you know, I drink diet soda. But, I don't know, I just get nervous about things that are produced overseas. And I know a lot of the foods we eat are, but, you know, that are not regulated in any way. Maybe I should say it that way, like things that are just internet foods. So, anyway, I'm going to curl the rest of this and I'll be back momentarily. Here's the finished look. I put a little bit of makeup on as well. So like I said, I'll link everything down in the description box. We'll just quit saying that. You already know this. So the next thing I do for the morning is once it hits around 11 or 12 o'clock, I think about what I'm gonna eat. Usually I'm doing a shake, something along those lines, sometimes a pancake and an egg, something like that. And I'm gonna check emails and get my day started. Also, I'm working on a painting. So that's a huge painting I'm doing. So that's pretty much it for the morning. I'm gonna get to doing a little bit of editing, answering some emails. I hope you enjoyed this morning routine. Maybe we'll do an evening routine. See you tomorrow.